20 Cancer Prevention Tips Doctors Want You to Hear Cancer is no joke. In 2019 alone, it's predicted that there will be 1.8 million new cases of cancer and 607,000 deaths to the disease, according to the American Cancer Society. And while the cancer death rate has dropped 27% over the past 25 years due to reductions in cancer-causing habits and advancements in early detection and treatment, there are still many things everyone can do to decrease their risk. To help you learn exactly how to stay healthy and cancer-free, please watch till the end of the video. 1. Go plant-based. Decreasing the amount of meat you consume is one of the best things you can do in terms of cancer prevention. According to Michigan Medicine, fiber-packed plant foods, such as legumes and whole grains, have nutrients that can help reduce your risk of several types of cancer such as colorectal cancer. 2. Increase your weight training sessions. Any method of working out is a great way to boost your overall health and fight off cancer. But is there any one extra effective method? Exercise with cardiovascular and weight training for 30 minutes per day, says Radhika Acharya, medical director at UC Health Cancer Center, Highlands Ranch. One 2018 study of more than 80,000 people that was published in the American Journal of Epidemiology, even found that strength training just twice a week resulted in a 31% reduction in cancer mortality. Check the link in the description for a wonderful weight loss product. 3. Check your home for radon. Radon gas isn't something people talk about every day, but it occurs naturally in soil and rock and can make its way into your home over time. Unfortunately, if you breathe enough of it, it could cause serious health issues. In fact, it's the leading cause of lung cancer for non-smokers, according to the American Cancer Society. You cannot see it or smell it, but there's an easy and inexpensive way to find out if your home has it or not, just order a radon test kit. 4. Be mindful of your time in the sun. Getting some vitamin D has its benefits, including an instant mood boost. Just be sure you're being mindful when spending time outside to lessen your risk of skin cancer. Avoiding the sun's most harmful rays between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. and wearing a broad-spectrum SPF 30 or higher sunscreen, sun-protective clothing, broad-brimmed hats, and sunglasses when you're outside is essential. So, shades are cool, isn't it? 5. Quit eating so much junk. Diets that are high in sugars and fats and low in fruits and vegetables can increase inflammation in the body and place you at risk for the development of different cancers, cardiovascular disease, and diabetes. So only advice would be to cut the junkies. 6. Don't smoke. Know what's crazy? According to the American Cancer Society, smoking is responsible for 30% of all cancer deaths in the US and that's not just lung cancer, either. Tobacco use also increases the risk for mouth, lip, nose, and sinus cancers, voice box and throat cancers, esophageal, stomach, pancreatic, kidney, and colon cancers, uterine, cervical, ovarian, rectal, and bladder cancers, and also one form of blood cancer called acute myeloid leukemia, says Lonnie Yarmus, the clinical director of the Division of Pulmonary and Critical Care at Johns Hopkins. So, smokers beware. 7. Limit your alcohol consumption. Drinking too much alcohol isn't just going to make you feel bad. It can also increase your risk of multiple types of cancer, including colorectal cancer, liver cancer, and mouth and throat cancers. It also plays a big role in the development of breast cancer. 8. Get regular colonoscopies. Colon cancer starts as polyps, or non-cancerous growths. And according to James Church, MD, a colonoscopy actually prevents colon cancer by allowing the diagnosis and removal of the precancerous polyps. If more people get colonoscopies, approximately 60% of colorectal cancer cases would be prevented, according to the Cleveland Clinic. 9. Know your ABCDEs. You should regularly check your skin for any irregularities. To know what to look for, memorize the mnemonic device A B C D E, A for asymmetry, B for border, jagged and uneven, C for color, varying shades of white, red, black, or brown, D for diameter, check if it's growing or bigger than a pencil tip eraser, or if it's evolving in any way. 10. Go in for regular pap smears. No woman likes going in for her annual checkup. But getting regular pap smears is incredibly important in preventing cervical cancer. In fact, we most often detect precancerous changes through pap smears and HPV testing and are able to treat the precancerous changes and prevent cancer from developing. Regular pap smears are essential. 
11. Get on the pill. Birth control helps prevent pregnancies, but it can also be important for women in decreasing the risk of gynecological cancer. Prior studies have shown that taking oral birth control pills decreases the risk of ovarian cancer, says Hader Mahdi, MD, a gynecologic oncologist at the Cleveland Clinic. 12. Know your genetic risk for skin cancer. Even though sun exposure increases your chances of melanoma, the deadliest form of skin cancer, it also has a genetic component too, which is exactly why you should know your family history. 13. Don't just wear sunscreen during the summer, wear it daily. Contrary to popular belief, sunscreen isn't just important on hot summer days. It's also important on cloudy days, winter days, rainy days, basically, you've gotta wear it year-round to reap the cancer-fighting benefits. 14. Know your family history. Knowing your family history is important in helping prevent any cancer, especially prostate cancer. According to the Prostate Cancer Foundation, if a man's father or brother had prostate cancer, they have a twofold increased risk of developing it themselves, and even more so if it was diagnosed under 55 years old or affected multiple members of their family. 15. Stay up to date on your vaccinations. You might not think it's a huge deal to put off the vaccinations you need, but if you get them when you're supposed to, you could be doing a lot of good in helping your body fight off cancer especially cervical cancer, anal cancer, liver cancer, and various forms of infection. 16. Stop tanning for good. If you want a nice, healthy glow, nothing is healthy about getting it from the sun. Instead, go for self-tanner, laying out or hitting up a tanning bed is basically asking for skin cancer. 17. Take some aspirin. While it's not recommended for widespread use because aspirin has a risk of gastrointestinal bleeding and ulcer formation, but someone with an obvious colorectal cancer risk may benefit from one 325 mg dose per day, says Charles Fuchs, MD, director of the Yale Cancer Center. Please talk to your doctor to weigh the risks and benefits. 18. Drop your bad habits, when you combine heavy use of alcohol with other things, such as smoking, it clearly increases the risk of things like head and neck cancer, esophageal cancer, and other types of cancer. So, beware. 19. Say goodbye to red meat. There's a long list of reasons why red meat and processed meat is bad for your health, one of them being that it could increase your risk of both stomach and colorectal cancers, according to the American Institute for Cancer Research. It's because of nitrogen-based compounds in the meat called heterocyclic amines, which are generated in the cooking process. Charring meat can make this worse. 20. Don't skip your screenings. Simply not skipping out on your screenings can be a game-changer for cancer prevention. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, recommends regular screening tests for skin, breast, cervical, colorectal cancers, and, for those who are at a high risk, lung cancer. Also, don't be afraid to perform self-exams at home between screenings for breast cancer. So please follow the tips for healthy cancer-free life. And if you are interested in controlling your weight, please check out the product in the link to the description below as weight gain can directly lead to cancer. Thanks for watching and stay cancer-free.